Yeah. Hey, I'm on. You know, we all look on the outside things. Admit it, we all do. And the Pharisees certainly had that issue, that problem. They always looked on the outside. And once again, Mark chapter 2, guess what? But this time it's not just the Pharisees, it's actually John's disciples. <clears throat> Same question. And we look at parallel passages in Matthew chapter 9 and Luke chapter 5, worded slightly differently depending on whether Matthew or Luke are writing it. Take a look at that and compare. Verse 18 of chapter 2 of Mark. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were fasting. Then they came and said to him, Why do the disciples of John and of the Pharisees fast? But your disciples do not fast. So this is the Pharisees are asking because they said, well, we fast and the disciples of John fast. So why are the disciples of Jesus not fasting? And Jesus said to them, can the friends of the bridegroom fast? And I believe it's Matthew. Um, can they mourn while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. For the days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. And then they will fast in those days. And I believe that is meaning when Jesus would be taken up into heaven. And then they would mourn. But he also uh, gave them, you know, the, the words that he would return. Are uh, taken away from them, maybe, because this was prior to the crucifixion. And they definitely were mourning for those three days after Jesus was crucified. Um, that's actually thinking about that now. I think that's uh, what it's referring to. Now, verse 21. Um, I had to think about this a little bit. It's where this fits in. But and God's words are inspired. Inspired by God. Verse 21. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, or else the new piece pulls away from the old, and the tear is made worse. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins, or else the new wine bursts the wineskin, the wine is spoiled, and the wineskins are ruined. But new wine must be put into new wineskins. Um, I don't know much about patches and wineskins and what happens but uh, apparently if you take a new piece of material and patch an old pair of jeans uh, and when you wash the jeans and the the patch may pull away I think my mom always put the patch on you know I don't remember I'm not an expert at this obviously so uh, you challenge me on it, I, I can't defend myself on that. But I believe Jesus is, is saying, is, look, the Pharisees always look on the outside. God looks on the heart. You read that back in uh, this First Samuel 16, verse 7. God always looks on the heart. The Pharisees looked on the outside. Looked at, you know, how well the patch was adhering to the, the garment and the wineskin. Jesus is saying, you need a new life, you need a new heart. And that's what's more important. That's what's most important. And Jesus even said that he had come to give them life, give them more abundantly. And we know that if we're in Christ Jesus, and we are new creations. The old has passed, the new has come. Just sharing those few thoughts. Like I say, I'm not an expert on wineskins and what happens. Um, I'm not a wine ever wine drinker and I don't know much about uh, clothing I mean and nowadays you just gotta throw the clothing in the garbage but anyway um, yeah just what's I think that's what's important um, to, to share this morning and uh, please share your thoughts uh, 
appreciate um, hearing them, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.